Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I wanted to do a quick what's in my pencil case uh, video and I will just show you all of the material that I'm using for writing, sketching, and journaling, um, all the pens and all the accessories that I like. I have two main pencil cases and uh, on my desk I also have this organizer of all other like important pens and uh, highlighters that I'm using but I'm not often working on my desk so uh, mostly I'm like downstairs in the living room and then I have these two so we will start with this one <laughs> this one is the one to like to go I take it with me when I'm going on vacation or to the university or where older places where I need my pencil case it's not too big and it contains like most the essentials so I have most most of the time I use a yellow highlighter and this is the Stabilo one um, and they're they're good they're doing their job so I really like this ones I have these pens they're in multiple colors and this is the green one and they're like really good um, they are gel pens very cheap I buy them if you're living in the Netherlands I buy, I buy them at Action um, but uh, I don't know where you can get those in like outside of the Netherlands but they're just cheap pens but they're working fine so I will test some of those things out. Um, let me see, somewhere in my journal or better yet. Hold on, just some paper. So these are like really good gel pens and I like that they come in different colors. And then I have this multicolor pen from uh, Big. Yeah, it's, it's good, but I do not write much with it, um, but I, if I want to use different colors in my writing, then I'm using this one. Then this is the uh, same uh, cheap pen that uh, is a really good gel pen. So this is the blue one. Um, I have a Sakura gel pen that I really like and I have the whole set. This is the silver one. Um, I'm not using it that often, but it's in my main um, pencil case for some reason. And I have the Sakura uh, Micron pens. They're really good for drawing, but I usually most use them for journaling. Um, they also write great. Uh, they're not so cheap. <laughs> they're actually kind of expensive. But I bought this ones more than five years ago and they're still working, they're still good. So I'm really glad that I have them. And I think they're worth the money. Then I have again another highlighter, uh, the orange one by uh, Stabilo and some more pens, just cheap ones that I am really like to use on a daily basis and it's okay if I lose um, a pen because I can always buy some new ones. And this big uh, pencil, which is like mechanical, pe mechanical pencil, I really like this one for drawing or quick notes. It's good, again, it's cheap and um, it, it does its job. And then I have another highlighter. This one um, has two sides, <laughs> like a highlighter one and more like um, a colored pencil one. And it's from AliExpress. It's very cheap as well. I bought the whole set. I have some in my organizer as well in different colors. And um, I was looking for mild liners, uh, but they're of course a bit expensive and I couldn't find them easily um, or I had to order them to the Muji store, I think, or somewhere else, but uh, it was a lot like shipping costs and I wanted to try them out to see if it worked for me or not. So I found the cheaper like, alternative on AliExpress and I so far they're working great. They're also more than three years old. And I use them often. So when they're done, <laughs> when there's no juice left in them, I will buy the mild liners. But for now I'm using, they're called milk liners. <laughs> That's funny uh, how they use almost the same name, but uh, the quality is good. And they're also from Japan. So yeah, I was not disappointed when they came in. And then I have some um, correcting fluid. How do you call it? <laughs> um, I use it sometimes when I make a writing mistake and I like this one better than uh, this one because it's more precise, but yeah. 
and again a sakura gel pen so this is something that i always try to take with me when i need a pen it's here but actually i also have a lot of like <laughs> like uh, single pens in my uh, bag so if someone needs a pen i always have it then this is my main um like my most favorite pencil case because it contains so much i can do i still can add some things to it but it contains already a lot and i use it for journaling and drawing and all all of the tiny is in there but it's a bit um, heavy of course and i stained some coffee on it a while ago so it doesn't look as pretty as it uh, used to um it's also a very cheap pencil case um but it, it does its job well so it has two sides this one opens uh, to the same pocket so it's not that it has three pockets this one contains usually all of my drawing stuff so i picked up a drawing and sketching last year when i was writing my thesis for health sciences and i was really really stressed and i was looking for something else than uh, language learning and uh, reading because those activities really demand some concentration and some um like brain power from you and i didn't have that i was so tired so stressed to write in the thesis and i just was looking for something else and then i came into art i always liked drawing but i wasn't good at it and i thought well it's not going to work out for me but yeah it's, it's also a skill that you can learn so that's what i'm doing now i'm learning it hopefully when i finish my <laughs> um sketchbook i will do a flip through but for now it's still uh, a work in progress but yeah i have everything from highlighters and drawing stuff in here this is for of course how do you call it in english um oh yeah the sharpener this is for pen sharpening or pencil sharpening i really like this one i got it in some i don't know package that i ordered and it's very cute it, it works then again the milk liner and some stabilo highlighters i have a lot of those and i really like to use them sometimes for coloring or coloring stuff in but mostly for reading articles for my university um work because i like to highlight things and then i am also using this uh faber castle pencils they're of good quality and not too expensive and this is the 8B, but I'm usually use the 2B one. And recently I bought these um, Prismacolor Co Erase pencils, color pencils. And these were expensive for my taste, <laughs> a lot more expensive. Uh, but I wanted to buy these because I see that a lot of people are using them for drawing and they have beautiful colors. So I thought it would be a good investment. And they're working great so far. I, they just came in, so I haven't used them that much. Uh, and the rest is, again, highlighters. A lot of highlighters. One of my favorite erasers. This one is a very standard one. A cheap one from, I think, also Stabilo, if I'm correct, or Stendler. But it's really good. It, uh, it erases everything that I need. And I have this uh, kneadable eraser as well from Faber Castle. And um, I also like using this one. And that's it. Um, the rest is highlighters. So if I'm drawing, I always have this pencil case with me. And it's getting a bit too crowded in here, but so far it fits. So <laughs> that's good. Then the rest is all pens and some other drawing materials. So here I have my 6B Faber Castle pencil. Uh, the triangle and some um, these are like fake Muji pens so I also wanted to try out Muji pens uh, but again very high shipping costs so I bought this one from Aliexpress they're also from Japan but they're not Muji they're something else and uh, so far they're working great again more than five years I have these or at least more than three years, I think. Then uh, these ones are a bit um, more expensive. This is a Japanese uh, panic uh, gel pens. And I have bought them, or I got them for my husband recently and I love to write to journal with them. Um, they're working just great. So I would really uh, recommend these ones. 
Then I have some more micron pens from Sakura. Again, really good one for writing, drawing, whatever you need. I have this like um, shading tool. I don't know what is the actual term for it. I haven't used these ones much, but I do have them. Um, yeah, and it's just like special pressed paper. So not too uh, fancy. And this is the bigger one. I have used this one. Then more Sakura gel pens, 4B pencil and a graphite pencil, soft 6B. Uh, I really like drawing with this one. It's, it makes everything more darker, but also, I don't know, it, it looks more be better when I'm drawing with this one. So yeah, I like this pencil. And then my big uh, mechanical pencil. I haven't bought like better mechanical pencils because I'm not using them that much. And this one works just fine. Um, another razor. And some more gel pens, uh, fake Muji pens and micron pens. I, I use them simultaneously and I like to have different colors for journaling. So they're working great. This is the um, 2B Faber Castle pencil. And when I'm drawing, I'm using this one or the mechanical pencil. I think they're both great. And when I want to shade more, I, then I'm using the 4B or the 6B. Um, but this is like the main to go pencil. Then I have an Ikea one. <laughs> um, I'm never using this one, but yeah, it's in there. And a lot of other gel pens and um, yeah, mostly gel pens. And this is the general writing pencil from Tombo. I don't remember when I bought this one, but I have it. Uh, it's also a good one. And the HB and the, let me see, which is this, the B pencils. Um, yeah, so the rest is pens. Oh yeah, and I have one uh, brush pen from Sakura, uh, Pigma brush. I don't use it that much, but if I want to draw kanji or write in Japanese, um, I will use this pen or I have a couple of other um, brush pens, but I do not use them often, but they're working great. So it's a good pen. So this is everything that I have in the my pencil case. And um, yeah, I always like watching all our what's in my pencil case or what's in my bag video so i thought i will make one of my own and lately i have been organizing a lot of my pencil cases and trying to fit everything into one pencil case that i could take with me it's still heavy so if i don't want to draw or do much i'm taking this one with me but i do have a bigger one but that one is it's like ridiculously big it's this one um and for now it contains mostly um, these pens, uh, this is the um, aqua markers that I had bought at again action very cheap. Um, they resemble those like um, alcohol markers that are more expensive, <laughs> but uh, they're working fine and they have all the colors that I want, but I'm not using it that much, so I didn't want to invest in like the better alternatives. Um, I have some other pens in here. This one is like really beautiful from Harry Potter, but I never write with it. And I have some more brush pens. I bought this one in uh, Japan. Um, I like them, but again, <laughs> I only use them when I'm doing some kanji. More like calligraphy, I think, because it's not kanji practice. Because then I would just use a normal gel pen. Uh, but more like calligraphy stuff, then I like to use the brush pens. And um, there's a second... Uh, second uh, socket pocket uh, that contains more aqua markers some twin markers this is are the alcohol ones they're also working great um, but they do bleed through the paper of course but I think that's with most alcohol markers and some again some brush pens um, and some micron and some other pens that I just don't use often um, this these pens, I have bought them as well at, an, at a cheap store, but they're made in Japan and they're for calligraphy. Uh, Snowman 700 is the brand, but they're really good. So if you want to do calligraphy or just 
drawing or writing these are like really good and they're cheaper than um, the Sakura Micron pens I would recommend these ones as well so this is everything <laughs> Obviously, I have even more pens somewhere around in the house and in my bags, but these are the ones that I have organized at least. So thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time. Goodbye.